morning, guys. It's a beautiful day in Cape Town. Um, it's pretty quiet here at the moment. We're having load shedding, um, which basically means our power goes off uh, sometimes up to two or three times a, uh, a day for a couple of hours uh, each time um, as our government uh, tries to work out how to uh, run the electricity plants in the, the country, the likes of ESCOM. Um, so yeah, we sit without power quite uh, quite often. Obviously, the year is kicking in big time now and uh, the economy starts moving and that's when we start having electricity problems. But the cool thing for, from a koi keeper's perspective is that it's very, uh, it's very quiet. So uh, I can uh, film some nice videos and show you some fish. Okay, I thought what I'd show you first up is uh, um, six Sankeys that uh, um, I've essentially uh, got in my main pond. Now the interesting thing with these Sankeys is these Sankeys were all for sale. Uh, in my sales ponds, uh, not a single one of them was kept back before. Um, I kind of made a rule that uh, the first time I release fish to people for sale, um, they need to be complete. So no one's taken any of the fish beforehand. No one's pre-ordered. Everyone gets equal opportunity to get the fish. And that includes me as well. I don't keep any fish aside for myself until people have selected out. So I kind of get second option. But um, very often there's a huge amount of good fish. So when you select out, if you select properly, you're going to end up with some cracking uh, fish. But you've got to know what to, to look for. And very often I'm not selecting a finished fish. I'm selecting a fish for the future. Um, and all of these six Sankeys were at some point for sale. They're not from the same batch. Um, they are mostly from Sakai. Um, two different sizes you'll see. So three really bigger and three kind of a mid-size. But um, yeah, all were... Uh, available at I think it was about 300 rand a fish so that was fairly recently if you look at where they are now a good couple of months later um, you might just uh, kick yourself but um, I'm going to line them up one to six maybe in the comments tell me which one you think is uh, has got the best potential how you think they're doing they would have featured in previous videos so you guys would have seen how how far they've come if you've been watching the videos uh, um, along the way but um, great Sankeys I'm only going to keep eventually two of them and uh, the other four will go back to the sales ponds again, obviously at a completely different price. But, um, but uh, yeah, some good looking fish. Tell me what you think. Um, let's have a look at the first one. Okay, there's the Tossai. And I'm really sorry, this bowl is maybe a bit too small for her. But um, look how far this fish has come. If you guys have watched the previous videos, you'll... Uh, have realized all the development and seen uh, where she's got to uh, and where she started. Very much a fish with no black in the beginning and this is what she looks like now. Great show fish, uh, great future fish as well. Um, long way, long way to go but huge, huge potential and this was out of a batch of Sakai babies. So this one at some stage was for sale here. Um, but lots of potential. Look at the shape. The shape is just incredible. Such an imposing body. For such a young fish. Okay, this is fish number two. Um, you can see, obviously, from the, the bowl, it's a lot smaller than the, the other uh, Sankey, but not from the same batch. But um, I took this one out because I really liked it. I think it had huge uh, potential. It's got a nice shape. Um, I think it's likely to be female. Uh, it looks like it to me. Nice, long, strong red pattern. I love this mark that comes across the, the top of the the top of the fish. Um, so yeah, it's got a lot of work to do and obviously it's looking a bit uh, redder with the camera than it actually is. I mean, the Samsung always makes it look uh, redder than uh, than it is. I really hate that about this, uh, this phone. But, um, yeah, really good fish. We'll have to just see how it, uh, how it goes and where, how it does in future. This is the second uh, biggie. Um, great shape and lots of bulk. You can see possibly the bulkiest of the, 
the five I'm going to show you. Um, not much pattern on the head, which was a concern in the beginning, but um, I think it makes it pretty unique because the pattern does go really far up to the eye, but uh, it's a very interesting fish. Very bulky, obviously female, and I think it's going to do well um, at koi shows. But let me know what you think about this one. Um, yeah, bit of a wild card, but I think lots of potential for the uh, for the future. I'm really sorry about the bowl. These guys have outstripped the <laughs> outstripped the uh, outstripped in terms of growth and uh, are way bigger than I expected. I expected them to fit into this bowl comfortably, but clearly, when you look at them in the pond versus uh, in a bowl, two different things. I also loved loved this uh, sumi spot on the shoulder. That is powerful. Very interesting fish. Okay, and how's this for the next one? Crazy, crazy sumi on this fish. Very one-sided in terms of its pattern, but that doesn't matter. As this fish gets better, uh, gets bigger, that's gonna kind of uh, come right. Bit of secondary heat on the face, but that'll go away hopefully as the fish gets uh, gets older. But a cracking, cracking sankey. I think this one is male, just from the, the shape. I mean, the shape is seriously imposing, but a really, really good fish. How's that sumi? Looks like it's painted onto the brush. Okay, and this one is the smallest of the, the ones I'm showing you. Um, I took this one out just because of its uh, potential sumi. When I put this in the pond, its sumi didn't look like this at all. I just saw the intensity and I knew the rest of the black was gonna come up. So uh, this is pretty incredible for a baby. Lots of finishing off to do. You can see at the middle there where the pattern breaks in two. Got a lot of work to do. Some color's gonna go away. But this is a great fish. Look at the nice uh, pecs forming as well with the dark stripes in the, um, in the pecs. Beautiful sumi. That sumi's gonna split up a bit when the fish gets to size. So it's gonna make for a really nicely balanced fish. So if you think there's too much sumi at the back, there absolutely isn't. That's gonna split uh, out. Love that sumi in front at the head, just uh, making a bit of a statement. Such a cool fish. Okay, this is the last of the Sankey and uh, one I took out just because I loved the the, the, the main uh, red pattern. Um, he's got a lot uh, a lot going on in terms of black coming through. So that's going to be quite interesting as well. I just love the cleanness of this fish. Obviously very good white on it as well. But uh, very unfinished. Lots of potential for, for future. So we'll have to see what this one, uh, what this one does long and thin and strong i love what's happening with the sumi in the middle here i can see the intensity that's almost the the kind of in, you know look i look for on small fish i look for lots of blue coming out the bottom and just seeing some portion of darkness that uh, sticks through telling me what this fish could be down the down the line the sumi spot that goes over uh, on the shoulder there or sorry on the, on the dorsal um, I don't really see much sumi coming on the on the right hand side, but I don't mind as long as I've got something towards the front of the fish from a sumi perspective, it'll be nice. But this is going to be a, a cracker if it uh, comes through properly.